Okay, so let's see if we can answer the questions. In the scenario, we've been told that PC1 pings PC2, and we need to answer these questions based on the echo request message sent from PC1 to PC2. So we firstly asked, what is the destination MAC address in the frame at point A in the network? When traffic is sent from one layer two network across a router, the PC is going to ARP for the router's MAC address and encapsulate the frame with the router's MAC address when sending traffic to a remote destination. So the MAC address that will be used is the MAC address of the router's gigabit 000 interface, which is configured as this. So the answer to the question is E, router 1's gigabit 00 MAC address. So I would say for question one, the answer is E, but let's verify that by using simulation mode in Packet Tracer. I'm gonna edit my filters to only show ARP and ICMP traffic. You can click this option, show all, and then uncheck the various traffic types that you wanna view. On PC1, I'm gonna send a ping to the IP address of PC2. And in the output here, I'll be able to view the ICMP traffic. So the inbound PDU shows us that the destination MAC address is the router's MAC address, which is configured as follows. So again, answer to question one, is the router's gigabit 000 address is the MAC address used as the destination MAC address in the frame. And that address is this. So that would be the answer for question two, which is asking us for the destination MAC address. Question three asks us, what is the encapsulation used? Notice the encapsulation is Ethernet 2. So ETH2 is the encapsulation used at point A in the network. We can see that again in the packet tracer capture. We then asked to do something similar at point B in the network. So I'll click capture forward, we could actually look at that on the frame on the switch and look at the outbound PDU. Notice the destination MAC address is the same. Ether type is Ethernet 2. This is the MAC address of the router. So the answers here would be very similar. We're not asked in this example for the encapsulation used, but the encapsulation used is Ether2. So we could look at that here, or we could look at the inbound PDU on the router, and you'll notice it has the same information. So that's the answers to questions one to five. We then need to answer the question, what is the destination MAC address at point C in the network? In other words, over here. So looking at the outbound PDU, what you'll notice is there is no MAC address. The encapsulation used on the serial interface is HDLC. HDLC doesn't use MAC addresses. MAC addresses are used in Ethernet. So we could see that here, or as the inbound PDU on router two. So inbound PDU shows something very similar. Notice the encapsulation used is HDLC. There is no MAC address. So the answer to question six is there's no MAC address at point C in the network and the encapsulation used is HDLC. We then asked similar information at point D in the network. 
So what is the destination MAC address? What is the actual MAC address? And what is the encapsulation used at point D? So D is over here. So we could look at the router's outbound PDU. MAC address is this. That is the MAC address of the PC. So IP config shows us the IP address of the PC. IP config slash all shows us the destination MAC address of the PC. So this is the actual MAC address used. Going back to our questions, we need to specify whose MAC address is in the destination frame at point D. That is PC2's MAC address. This is the actual MAC address. And we back on Ethernet, which means it's going to be Ethernet 2 as the encapsulation. We can verify that by looking at the outbound PDU on the router. Notice it's Ethernet 2. So this is going to be Ethernet 2 once again. We could also, if we wanted to, look at the ingress traffic on the switch. Ingress shows something very similar. Destination MAC address, frame type is Ethernet 2. That's actually going to be the same on this link. So on E, we could either look at the packet outbound on the switch. Notice it's the same. Or we could look at the ingress PDU on the PC. Exactly the same information is shown for these questions. So if we look at point E, the answer to the question will be the same. It's PC2's MAC address. MAC address is that. And the frame type is Ethernet 2. So were you able to answer those questions? And can you answer the questions for the return traffic? In other words, the echo reply. So if I click capture forward now, notice we're getting an echo reply message. So if we look at the inbound PDU and we scroll down, the type here is this. But if I go back, the inbound PDU on the PC had a type of 8. So echo request and then the echo reply message over here has an ICMP type of this. And notice you can see that the source MAC address is PC2, but the destination MAC address is router 2. So on router 2, show run. Notice this is the MAC address configured on gigabit 000, and that's the MAC address that we see as the destination at this point for the echo reply. Source MAC address is this. Let's work through the process. When it gets to the router, the router will see that information on the inbound PDU. Destination MAC address is itself. Source is the PC. But on outbound, there are no MAC addresses. A different encapsulation is used. Encapsulation is HDLC. But notice the IP address information stays the same. If we go across the link, look at router 1. Inbound PDU is HDLC. Outbound PDU is Ethernet 2. Destination MAC address is PC1. If I look at the config of PC1, notice that is the MAC address of PC1. Source MAC address is the router. 
with this MAC address. Capture forward. It'll be the same on the switch. Inbound and outbound PDUs will show that the destination MAC address is PC1. Source MAC address is the router. Same for outbound. So in and out will have that. And if we capture forward again, we'll see something similar on the PC for the inbound PDU. Destination is the PC. Source is the router. So Packet Tracer allows you to see the life of a packet quite nicely at every stage in the network. It's important that you understand encapsulations, source and destination MAC addresses, and how are they used for the CCNA exam. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.